Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's good to be back before you again. Hope everybody is well. Uh, weather's a little cool, a little chill in the air. Uh, of course, that reminds me that is flu season. So uh, let's all remember why we are doing these uh, calls for you, these presentations for you, so that we can keep ourselves healthy, wealthy, and wise. Uh, I do want to say that uh, uh, we hope you had a, a safe uh, Halloween experience. Uh, I did to go out on Saturday to the food truck festivals in downtown. I heard from Mayor Baker they had a great event in Walthyville, so we're happy that those things are going on. And for the most part, I saw people, saw people being compliant. I saw quite a few masks downtown at the food, food truck festival on Saturday, so I was, I was pleased with that. So thank you once again for, for being compliant and being aware of where we are in this pandemic. It's still a pandemic. It is much better than what it was, and we're happy about that. And Mr. Brown's going to fill you in a little later on what's going on in the county as far as how we are reacting to that. So thank you for what you've done thus far. But I want to remind you to, uh, to remain compliant, to remain resilient so that this community can get back to where we want to be. We look forward to uh, the sporting season. Go Braves, go Braves. You know, we, we look forward to because what the hope the Georgia Bulldogs are going to do. And certainly look forward to what uh, LCRD will allow to happen here in Liberty County. We know many of your children participate in our recreation league, so we're happy to uh, be able to sustain that and to support that. So you will hear, or you should have heard, that there may be some rules when it comes to uh, basketball season, what happens in our gymnasium, so be, please be compliant with that. But the main thing is let's do what's best for the child so the children can participate and we can have these sports to continue. Children have the outing, uh, outlet that they very well need. <clears throat> we hope that certainly uh, on the high school level, uh, congratulations to the Liberty County High Panthers football team for winning the region. Uh, Coach Warner, you and your, your team, good job, proud of you. Uh, Bradwell, you made it through. You made it through. You can always look forward to uh, next year. We certainly support all of our high schools uh, in the uh, athletic efforts to include first preparatory school. But that's the season that we're in, so I just want to remind us that while we're in that season, we also have to be careful that we don't do anything to have a spike in the uh, pandemic. So let's uh, be mindful of that and do our part to make that happen. So thank you again, Liberty County. I will say while I'm talking that uh, there are seven new things on the horizon when it comes to the county and its growth. We are pleased about that. There are seven new commercial ventures that, ventures that will be announced fairly soon and into the first of the year. So you can be proud of the community and how it's grown. We were not pleased with our census numbers. They are much lower than we expected. But we are pleased with the residential growth. And certainly now I'm hearing about the retail growth that's coming to all areas of the county. So thank you again for being support of your community. Our splot sales are doing well. Um, we hope to do uh, many good things with those plots funds. So once again, thank you above and beyond uh, the COVID topic. Just thank you for being a very supportive and progressive community. We look forward to continue serving you in that light. At this time now, I will yield and bring to your front the Honorable Larry D. Baker, the mayor of the city of Walthotville. Please uh, receive him. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Hello, Mr. Brown. Good morning to you, the citizens of Walthotville. Uh, as we uh, listen to Chairman Lovett, he said the word our part. So I am pleased to announce that the 37 employees that the city of Walthyville has to include the fire department, police department, city hall, and public works, we all have been vaccinated. So I want to give a applause to the city of Walthyville. And again, uh, let us not uh, be uh, dreary in this, but we, we come a long way, but yet we got a long way to go. So thank you so very much to the citizens of Walthyville. Uh, the city hall is still closed at this moment. And what I mean by closed, the walking in the door is closed, but the drive through is open and you still can pay online. So thank you very much. And at this time, I will yield to uh, County Administrator, Mr. Joy Brown. Hey, thank you, Mayor Baker, very much. And, and Chairman Lovett, um, so we come before you, uh, things are better. Uh, as they mentioned, uh, just a couple numbers for you, and these are on the uh, Coastal Health Department website. They do a great job of updating things there, both about the transmission rates, about hospitalizations, and about vaccination opportunities. Our transmission index, uh, as of November 2nd, was 74. Uh, to give you some idea, on September 3rd, 
uh, which is only about 60 days ago, that transmission rate was 1,934. Uh, so a, a dramatic decline. Um, the rolling seven-day average of new cases as of November 2nd was 3.1 on that same uh, back in September, September 3rd. Uh, that number was 109. So that's the seven-day rolling average of new cases. Uh, so that's dramatically uh, declined. But on the vaccination level, uh, still lagging behind there. Uh, the state average fully vaccinated as of yesterday was 50%, one dose 56%. Liberty County's rate, 29% uh, fully vaccinated and one dose, 33%. Of course, now uh, you're aware that the, uh, the boosters uh, are out there. Uh, you can uh, contact the health department, look on their site for booster information for all forms of the booster uh, that are out there. Those are available now. Uh, they're also being done, uh, I heard uh, on a call we had this morning, Walmart actually is offering boosters now. Uh, you can go there. So I would encourage you to look at the health department website, look online uh, to find those avenues for boosters that are available. Uh, the chairman mentioned it is flu season. So uh, we don't believe it's the time to let your guard down. Uh, would encourage you to get the vaccines and get the subsequent boosters uh, and consider getting a regular flu shot, as a matter of fact, uh, at this time. Uh, county operational wise, uh, we, we eased uh, the restrictions back uh, one notch uh, about three weeks ago now for some recreation venue events. So we did open the venues back up with limited capacity. We are doing sanitization requirements. We are requiring masks to be worn inside those facilities, but we are in the, in the process of ramping up for basketball and, uh, and getting ready for those. The commission is in some discussions uh, uh, ongoing uh, as we speak about possibly relaxing those restrictions temporarily some more given the declining cases. Uh, if that happens, uh, we'll come back on, I'll come back on Facebook and do a special spin up for you to kind of let you know that and we'll post some stuff on our websites, uh, which could include possibly lessening of some mandates on masking, uh, going to an encouraging of that, and also uh, some things maybe involving temperature checks at some of our buildings. And, and I think the stress, like the chairman has done before, um, is, is that we monitor it daily, uh, we'll come back on, take a look. Hopefully things stay down. We seem to be doing the right things as a community and would encourage you to do that. But it's a fluid situation. Uh, and so uh, we, we both appreciate the public's opportunity to respond with us and to take the steps necessary. But we also uh, just want you to know that we'll be continuing to watch those two. So keeping your, your safety in mind as we kind of try to recommend things to our buildings and to our programs. So. Um, Appreciate that. I'm going to pause for a second and see if there's any questions uh, that have come in and seeing none. Then I just appreciate the chance to work with you. Appreciate to be appreciate being with you through this and just encourage you to be safe. Thank you, Mayor Baker and uh, Mr. Brown. Um, you may miss uh, Mayor Allen Brown of being with us. Now, he's still convalescing, so we're praying for his recovery. He, he's doing well. He sends his greetings and his regrets uh, for being here, but we, uh, you can always go to the City of Hinesville website for any information that they may, they may have. But um, I cannot, I would not, I, be, I would be remiss if I did not let you know that um, even though things are better, and you heard the stats that Mr. Brown read, they're excellent. We're so proud of how far we've come, but <clears throat> on that same token, um, there's a good friend that uh, Mayor Baker and I met through the military here some years ago. He was out in El Paso, Texas, and we heard this past weekend he passed away of COVID. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's still very real. It's still very real. It's still very real. So, our hearts and thoughts go out to that family, other families that we don't know who are grieving the loss of loved ones due to COVID. Uh, we heard uh, just a little while ago on a call that the school system uh, the cases are very much reduced in the school system. We're proud of that because we want our children to be in the classroom, if at all possible, and thus far they've been able to do that. So parents, please help us out when it comes to that. So just want you to let you know that we'll continue to, to bring these updates to you, but we want to remind you to remain uh, compliant, if you will, uh, to what uh, CDC is recommending, and that is that we wash our hands 
watch our distance and wear our face covering, especially in the indoor places. So, uh, as we said earlier, uh, specifically basketball is going to start up real soon. Uh, and I do know, uh, if I heard correctly, that in, in the Liberty County gymnasium, the gymnasium that we use for LCRD, they're going to only limit a certain amount of people who will be able to attend those games, and you must uh, be masked up when you enter those games. So please, parents, uh, be compliant uh, so that we can allow our young people to have the opportunity to enjoy themselves in, that, uh, in, in those venues. So thank you so much once again for hanging in there with us for uh, all these many months of these COVID updates, and we'll continue to do these on this schedule, and they'll be announced beforehand so that uh, you can see these, and certainly you can go back at your leisure and view them. So have a great day. Have a great Thanksgiving. Know that uh, we'll always, we'll always be Liberty County proud. Thank you.